Hey everyone, I'm Miles McGovney, PFR agronomist for Iowa. Today I'm standing in Algona, Iowa at a PFR partner field. So besides our PFR program, which is doing research on different products and practices at our different locations, we have the PFR partner program, which basically what that does is it puts those studies that we've proven to show a positive return on investment onto customers ground. Uh, so far this year, we have over 300 studies across the entire marketing area. So what this really does is it gives farmers a good starting point in helping improve uh, their production operation without them having to wade through the sea of products that we do. Um, so behind me is actually a soybean seeding rate study. So uh, this is one of the studies uh, just to get to start to get people to think uh, just about you know different management practices on their farm. Uh, this study is going from 75,000 to 175,000 as far as seeds per acre that were actually dropped. Now, doing some quick stand counts, I was going on the low end about 65 to 66,000, and then on the high end about 160 to 163,000. So, in these pictures that you're seeing, um, the plant on the left hand side was taken from 175,000. The plant on the right hand side was from 75,000 you can notice the big difference in plant height and growth. Now I'm gonna remove the leaves here real quick and you can really start to see the branching and the massive amount of nodes on that lower seeding rate. So what we're really seeing here is basically plant to plant competition in that higher seeding rate is, is limiting the amount of branching and nodes that you get in a soybean plant. Now the great thing about soybeans is you drop down to that lower population and you're still gonna be okay. As you can see here, you know, we're seeing on the higher population, you know, we've got 10 uh, viable nodes at this growth stage, where at the exact same growth stage, we've got 35 nodes on that 75,000 soybean plant. So, you know, what we're seeing here is, you know, even if we drop down to that lower seeding rate, then we, then the soybean plant will be able to compensate enough to make up for that lower seeding rate in the field. The reason that we're really doing this study is not to say, you know, for someone to go plant uh, 75 or 100,000, especially in a high productivity area, but this really comes into play whenever you're trying to make replant decisions um, as far as, you know, if you actually need to go across that field again uh, with the planter in a different operation. Um, so anyway, this is just one of the uh, multiple studies that we have this year for, for the PFR Partner Program, and this is going to be a continuing program for uh, the next year and the years after that. If you're interested in being a PFR Partner or doing some of these studies, just contact your local seed advisor or area dealer, and they will get you in contact with a PFR associate, and we can go from there. If you have any more questions, just comment below with the hashtag AskPFR. Thank you.